this week at the General Assembly. The main event this week occurred on Thursday when the conferees were appointed to negotiate the House and Senate budget proposals. You can visit the NCGA website to view the appointments. Stay tuned for more budget updates. Some are predicting that the budget will be finalized by the end of the month. On Thursday, the House Education Committee discussed House Bill 539. This bill would force local public schools to share funding with charter schools. This bill is likely to be voted on this coming week. House Bill 242 will be heard on Monday. Senate sponsors made various changes to the laws governing charter schools in this bill. The bill would direct the State Board of Education to review a charter school's operations once every 10 years as opposed to the current five years. It also adds a provision to modify when the State Board of Education can approve enrollment growth greater than 20%. The bill would also include charter schools when identifying low-performing schools. At its June meeting, the State Board of Education unanimously approved revised high school mathematics standards for Math 1, 2, and 3. This week, the Senate Education Committee debated proposals to realign the high school math curriculum. If passed, this bill would require the State Board of Education to revise the math standard course of study to offer the traditional sequence of math courses while still offering the integrated track. House Bill 657 was placed on the calendar for Monday. Senate Bill 536, titled Students Know Before You Go, would provide data to students to assist in selecting college majors and career choices. The House Education Committee will discuss this bill on Tuesday. For more information about education bills, visit our Legislative Updates page.